What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Danganronpa. In the last episode, we found out Kyoko's ultimate ability, and we also found out probably one of the biggest plot twists, besides the fact that Kyoko is the headmaster's daughter, there are two ultimate despairs. There won't be a bonus episode for Chapter 5, because, technically, nobody died. Nobody that we know, anyway, so we'll just move on to the final chapter. Time to take down the ultimate despair. Z. Oh, right. <laughs> first things first. Uh, how do we get out? Anyway. Yeah, it's 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 really smelly in here, Kyoko. Right, we'll have plenty of time for exposition later. Love this song, by the way. The song that we're actually gonna get stuff done. What do you have to say? Uh oh! Kyoko, did you bring the skeleton key? Indeed. Yes! Will it actually work on that big door? If so, that's kinda hilarious. Whoever made this key thought of everything. Even the door to the trash room has the exact same lock. That's right. <laughs> this is going to be great. Yeah, the quickest game over ever. Click. Lock. Oh. Let's give it a shot. Will it work, Kyoko? Come on. Looking for a winner here. It's true. Fingers crossed, and... Yes! Oh, best news I've had all day. Indeed. Oh, please. Let's get out of here. No more being in the trash room. Fresh air. I swear, if the Snake Eater theme starts playing, that would be the most awesome thing ever. Uh, thanks for that camera angle, I guess. Wouldn't have been my first choice. All I could see below my feet was a girl! <laughs> we should not be alive right now, to be honest, Makoto. Hey. Yes, uh, time to focus. This this is the one fall we won't live from.
so... Did you ever visit a small town called Inaba? Did you meet the Detective Prince? I hear he's quite a looker. And looks great in a schoolgirl uniform. Wait. They're such good detectives, they can't be found. Wrong. <laughs> Wait, was I right? Right. <laughs> I was right. That's hilarious. Indeed. A neutral form of justice. I like it. Okay, I guess not justice. They're in it for the truth. Another thing I really like. It's true. I can kind of see where she's coming from. I mean, no way I would ever experience something like this. But if you have a job that requires neutrality, I guess it would be a good thing to cover your tracks and make yourself not as noticeable. Otherwise, people are going to ask for you. Yes, she has concealed herself so well, she hid from the internet. That's how good of a detective she is, and how good she is at dodging the limelight. However... Some of that pride to save you. I... So you had to give up your anonymity to make it in here. And the only reason you did that was to find your dad. That's kind of sweet. What? Uh... Oh. My bad. Maybe we should have dropped the topic, Makoto. This might, uh, this might hit a nerve. Wrong. Yeah, I think we struck a nerve. Time to let it be. However... Did he stick you with the bill at the diner? What? I... Dad, I've been waiting years to tell you this. Your shirt's untucked. So... Oh. Father-daughter relationship is kinda destroyed. Ouch. He stuck me with the bill at Denny's. I still haven't gotten over it. However... 
so he wanted to pursue his own dreams. Break from the family name. I've heard that story before. Okay, that's a bit different. He completely removed himself from the family. That's, that's a big jump. Okay, that's a really big jump. That sucks. Right, I'm sure he didn't do it out of spite for you or anything else. He just wanted something different. Right. She is not taking this lightly. Oof, harsh words. There's that word again, pride. Maybe this is the seven deadly sins. Uh, speaking of which, Kyoko, why did you have me go first? I don't get it. Oh, wait. I get it. It's so you wouldn't outrun me, right? Because I'm slow? That's it, isn't it? Yeah, this actually is a really heartbreaking story. I want to give her a hug. However, the amount was nine fifty five. So, oh, oh, that's not fair. Oh, that's really not fair. I bet she got picked on. It's like, haha, you don't have a dad or a mom. However. Oh, they they saw you as a possible deserter too. Family names are harsh. Yeah, that would uh hang some shame on the family name. You did not have a good life growing up, as far as familial love. I... Correct. If I know anything about dads, they never forget daddy's little girl. Wrong. Those words are harsh. Oh, that's even worse. Hey.
Kyoko absolutely hates this man. I mean, for a part of my family, I don't think I could do that. Of course, I didn't have a life like hers. I don't think anybody has. Just keep on climbing. Hey, Kyoko, have you noticed we've been in suspended animation for about the past 15 or so minutes? You must be getting tired. And 5,000. God, I would hate to be the janitor in this place. You know, that would be an interesting way to kill someone. Push them down the trap door and see how many, uh, see how many ladder steps they hit on the way down. Indeed. Oh, no way. I thought it was just another ladder. Oh, sweet freedom. That's right. Oh, that, that makes too much sense. Get out of here with that. Fairly certain, so... We could just end up in the headmaster's room, you never know. This is probably where he throws interns. Back to familiar ground. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I wish we could have kept count. So, out of the trash room. Good thing. Back in Hope's Peak. Bad thing. I'm supposed to be dead. I wonder how Monokuma's gonna take this. So, me almost getting killed and you getting me out of my predicament, are those equal? I don't think so, but whatever. I'm just glad somebody cares. So, we're back in Hope's Peak. What do we do now? Yeah. What happens if Monokuma, the headmaster, Basically, anybody finds out that a, a Makoto still exists. Yeah, that's right. So, we're in this together. You and me against the world. Listen. Well, yeah. I almost died. Although... So then. Oh, wait a minute. In other words... <laughs> oh no! I don't want to see Monokuma! He screwed me over in that last trial! Everybody saw it! However. Yeah, yeah. If there's a camera in here, I'm already found out. Uh, <laughs> look at that! I've already been found out. Might as well. There's no escaping those cameras. They are everywhere. Because... The Mastermind's scared? They're backed into a corner? Hmm... We are winning the game. So... Right, right, you mentioned something about how that entire trial was to kill you or me. And thinking about that, that means they got desperate. Yeah, that entire trial reeked of desperation. Right. 
Uh-huh. Might as well go right to the source. I mean, I don't want to do it because it's Monokuma. Indeed. Should be in the gym, okay. Shall we go? Probably piecing himself together. There's your big hint. Let's head to the gym. And to be honest, I don't think there are any more Monokuma coins that I can collect because all the areas we've been well, okay. I'll I'll hold that thought. <laughs> Let's go to the gym first. Let's go see Monokuma, and I'm actually curious. What does the map say? Is it telling me where I need to go? Yeah, it's got the... Let me see. It's the first floor. There's the dorms. Yeah, it's telling me to go straight to the gym. I barely use the map to figure out where to go because the game is pretty self-explanatory. If I do need a map, I'll just press the triangle button and figure it out for myself. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Kyoko, you, I want to buy you something. Oh, wait, I can! <laughs> I was just kidding. I was just kidding. All right, let's get out of here. Now, but, uh, the map is actually really useful for the floors that are very confusing. For example, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> but uh, as far as where the game wants you to go, it'll always have an exclamation point. It's funny that I bring this up right at the last chapter. But I never find myself actually using it. Because the game specifically tells you, go here, go there. Maybe we should go check up on this person. Hey, look, there they are. So, Monokuma, ever seen a ghost? Well, now, well, now, well, now, well, now. I live. <laughs> what? Did you miss my beautiful face? Back from the dead, bitch. <laughs> Monokuma just starts short-circuiting. <laughs> Makoto. Oh, please don't tell me he's got a lever and he's got to drop an Acme anvil on me. Well, you saw me get punished. Technically. What? Right, and I was executed. You threw me in the garbage. I already got my punishment, Monokuma. Making me angry! Key word there is again. I already received my punishment, and it failed. Right. Uh, Kyoko, you're supposed to be helping me. Did you seriously bring me up here to give me to Monokuma? However. No. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Did you hear that, Mastermind? If I die, we both lose. Because... But instead, I got caught in the crossfire, as I normally do. In other words... I just want to toss this in here real quick, just for everybody at home. However... Please remember that all of this is being televised. <laughs> right. Indeed. 
Yeah, you cut the trial short because of an asinine time limit. And chose me as the Blackened. Yes. That action is so... reeked of desperation. I became as threatening as Miss Kyoko Kirigiri. However... You didn't expect Alter Ego, did you? to admit it now, that was some pretty good damning evidence against you. Listen to me. <laughs> oh, I, I love it when you when you throw regulations back in the bad guy's face. So that means you have to execute yourself. Pretty much, yeah. Game over. Well? Well? Why would I want to kill a dead girl? Well. You had such a good defense, and then you just pfft, threw it all away. That doesn't matter. Ooh, coming from the ultimate detective, I really want to help her. That's right. Pong, pong. Uh, he'll figure it out eventually. Because... Oh, that's another good point, besides the fact that Kyoko dragged me by the ear here. However... It's the power of hope, Monokuma. It destroys all despair. Indeed. Hey. Thank you, Kyoko. You thought of it too. <laughs> For you viewers at home, wouldn't that make you mad if Monokuma executed me right now? That would be bad for ratings. Indeed. Oh, look at the big mastermind. Killing somebody who didn't kill anyone? <sighs> what a loser. I'm changing the channel. What's on sci-fi? Oh, all that wordplay came right here to this punchline. Listen to me. <laughs> What do you have to say to that, Monokuma? Hey. God, look at that Kyoko calling the shots. Expecting her to fire one finger gun at him and he just falls over in despair. what we have to do.
Oh, you'll see. It's true. There we go. A fair trial. <laughs> oh, I love this. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Final boss time. Hey. Yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. One final fight between hope and despair. The time where we get to solve every single mystery. And there's still a laundry list of them. We would find out the mastermind. We would find out why we're here. What we were doing. Everything. At this point, we have nothing to lose. <laughs> Bear it! Back to the puns? What's wrong? <laughs> you haven't done those since episode two! And you're bringing it back 90 episodes later? Oh, God, possible. Oh, Teddy, back from the grave. Oh, honey of a cl Dude! In other words... Alright, Monokuma, I'm sick of your puns. They're clawful. You guys! Well, what do you guys think? Will that be convincing enough? I don't know, let me pause the game and ask the audience. I can barely contain myself. Bear puns. All right, we get to do the trial all over again. Bear it. You guys. Oh. You know, I was just kidding about solving all the mysteries. We really need to do that? All the mysteries. <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't kidding about the laundry list. There are still so many mysteries here. I can barely contain myself! Oh, qualify! Oh, that was good! It's true. <laughs> Woo! Makoto takes his shirt off. You guys! So in order to win this, in order to win this game, we need to figure out Mukuro's killer and solve every last mystery. <laughs> and I think you can guess what happens if we don't win the game. Yep. Final showdown means if we can't peg Mukuro's killer, we all die. <laughs> Listen to me. This is hilarious to me. Hey. Not only did we call out Monokuma, we had the mastermind agree to our terms. And they said yes. Oh, crap. That's bad. What's wrong? Oh, that's not good. Hey. <laughs> so 
So, all of this is based on the school rules. Keep that in the back of your mind. Mukuro's death is still a part of the class regulations. Which means a student in this school killed her. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the fun part. We still have to peg one of us as the killer. I have a strange feeling it's that 16th student. What do you guys think? These are really, really big hints the game is giving you. Keep it in the back of your mind and try to piece it together as we look for clues. Listen. So there is no 17th student if this is to be believed. There are only, and were only ever, 16 students who entered Hope's Peak Academy. If this is true. Thinking about it? Uh-oh. Oh, great. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Now I'm really angry! Oh, fun. Decided to clam up at the last minute. Whew. And I couldn't figure that out in the last five chapters. Makoto, you don't question things like this. Oh, good. I'm so useless, he doesn't even want to kill me. Really confident, aren't you? The biggest punishment you've ever seen. All right, bring it on. <laughs> The fun begins. Kyoko, that was amazing! How did you do it? Hello, word player. Good news. We live, and we might not die. We owe her one big time. All right, Kyoko. The fun starts. And next time on Danganronpa, we need to get to work because we need to solve every single mystery that is left in Hope's Peak Academy and Peg Mukuro's Killer. Seems impossible. It always does. But we'll figure it out. I will see you guys next time. Danganronpa. <laughs>